What's going on everybody, Indigo Child 16 here and today I'm back with another video. So basically I'm going to be repairing the iPod 5 to the iPhone 5SE. So basically I have two devices, as you know I've unboxed um, the iPhone 5SE in the other video and then I've jailbroke my iPhone and I released the top 10 iOS 9.3.3 the first episode. So right now I'm having difficult releasing actually uh, the next top 10 and I was supposed to actually do it today. As you know if you open my uh, fucking fucking thing if I open my calendar and it says right here in the epic 12 it says I was 9.3.3 jumper tweak new video today so it was actually supposed to release it but um, we're not talking about um, the jailbreak right now uh, otherwise I'll probably soon release the next episode so hope you can actually hope that I can actually release it today I might as well make five might make two videos and put it into a movie I'm not too sure how this is gonna work but uh, for this video, I'm actually going to use iMovie, so I'm going to put it all together, and it's going to be on two cameras, so the first camera is going to be obviously on my iPhone right now, I'm using it to um, fucking record with the, my iPod, and I'm going to actually going to be using the iPod 5 camera, which is the fucking shittiest camera ever for recording um, to see how fast my iPhone is seeing it, so I'm going to have two fucking cameras going, and it's not going to be a side-by-side -side camera. Fucking pause. I'm actually gonna probably borrow a friend's phone to actually do this. I have to record it. Um, uh, how fast it is because I need two devices by side by side. So this is not gonna be well, it's gonna be accurate, but I would like to freaking have both devices side to side with another camera. So let's get started. So today I've downloaded two apps. As you know, I've downloaded this app, which is called the Speed Test, and also done the Speed Smart, which is for Wi-Fi. You can see how fast that download, upload, and basically all that. So if I launch this app right now for speed test, and it'll actually show me how fast it actually will be, and then I'm gonna open some of the apps and see how fucking it does with that. So I'm gonna press on begin test. As soon as this begins, uh, it's gonna fucking repair, pairing, and it, uh, then it will pop up the little menu. As soon as it's, then it's testing ping, and then it's gonna fucking do this thing, and it's gonna load up and right now as you can see at the top we have the ping we have the download speed and we have the upload speed and as soon as that's done I'm going to be showing you the ping the download speed and the upload speed and then I'm going to be opening some apps and then I'm going to be switching over to my iPod screen so uh, so if this is shitty for you if the iPod's 5 too shitty for you don't worry I'm actually going to get an iPod 6 and do some recording on that so it's almost over right now. I'm gonna see. Okay, so the ping right now is 20 megaseconds uh, for the ping for the iPod 6. For the download speed is 4.4, 4.44 megabytes per second, and the upload speed is not doing really good. It's 2.82 megabytes per second. That's how fast it's actually doing. Uh, it's an accurate result because this test actually accurate does it. And so now I'm going to actually open this one and I'm going to see how the Wi Fi is doing for this one. Uh, it's going to test the ping for the Wi Fi, then it's also going to be doing uh, so this is for the Wi Fi. And so I'm going to press on start speed test and it's going to test um, for the Wi Fi. Basically, give you an accurate test. So I have two apps, they do the same thing, but this is actually testing it even further to see if it actually brings up the same result as the other app does. So I'm going to be doing this, uh, right now it's almost over, so the download speed is 1.12 megabytes per second, uh, the end to see is 192 megaseconds, and for the upload it is 2.95, so we're going to be screenshotting this, we're going to be screenshotting this, so that's that, so... We're going to be seeing which one's faster. So basically, we're going to actually put this down right now into the books. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. We're going to put this actually down in the book. And uh, right now it says... Stop. So right now it says... If we go to the album right now, it says...
1.12 megabytes per second per second and upload upload is 295 megabytes per second so guys I wrote it down in the book um, so I'm going to be switching over to iPod 5 to see how fast my iPhone is seen and then I'm going to both compare my writing is actually pretty shitty right now uh, I don't know how to write good so I'm going to be switching over to iPod 5 and I'll see you on the iPod 5 what's Bye. going on everybody I'm back on the iPod 5 as I said I'm going to be switching over now so basically I'm on the iPod 5 right now and I'm going to be using see how fast my iPhone SE does compares with the iPod. I'm going to see which one's faster uploading download wise. So basically I've already have the two apps that I had before on my iPod installed. So basically what I want to do is I'm going to open my folder that has the fucking thing. And I'm sorry if the fucking graphics are bad it's just refocusing. Uh, the camera's not that bad but the camera is pretty shitty than the iPhone SE because it's high quality. So basically, let's open um, this speed test. Uh, this gives it a little more accuracy because uh, you know, as you see in the other bit, the other part with my iPhone SE connected to the video, it, this one did a really good comparison. So this one you always want to download. So this is going to be starting test. Uh, so the latency is 56 miles a second. Uh, for the download thing is pretty better. So the upload for this one is 4.06 and Lantisy is obviously 56. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be switching over to the iPhone SE right now and I'm actually going to compare this thing. Uh, if you notice it, I'm just going to compare it, but you probably already know what is uh, the highest. So I'm going to be switching over and I'll see you later. What's Bye. going on everybody? So I'm back on the iPhone SE as you can tell because I switched between two um, cameras. So basically I'm back on the iPhone SE. So I'm going to be going over the results for both the iPod 5 and the iPhone SE speed test. So the iPod 5 um, doesn't do good. So well for the internet speed it's actually pretty good. It's actually at 1.0. 92 uh, megaseconds that's pretty good or um you guys you could say 192 megaseconds for land to see which is how uh, fast your internet speed so the vault ipod 5 actually did so good on that even though it's not show broken for the download it did not do good um it was 1.12 megabytes per second so that's how slow uh downloading an app would be and uploading it is actually 2.95 megabytes per second, so it actually does pretty good on upload, but it's not as fast as my iPhone SE. Okay, so for my iPhone SE didn't do good for the internet. As you know, it's been jailbroken, so the internet is slow with jailbroken devices. I just found that out because it's sitting at a 56 latency, which is how fast your internet is doing and shit. Uh, if you want to freaking do the definition, what it means search that out feel free to search that out and for the download actually did pretty good it was 7.32 megabytes per second that's faster a whole lot faster than the download speed on the ipod 5 and for the upload was 4.06 that's a whole lot faster than the upload speed for the ipod 5 so as you know uh if you want a better device do not jailbreak your phone, uh, it makes the internet slow. If I didn't use my uh, jailbroken, de uh, jailbroken device, I know this is not accurate, but um, do not have a jailbroken device because it will make your internet slow. Just found that out because it says 56 and the latency for the iPod 5 is 192 
megaseconds, so it is pretty slow for the iPhone SE. But otherwise, uh, it's faster to download speed and upload speed, so if I didn't jerk from my iPhone SE, it would be faster than the iPod 5, as you know it, because the uh, iPhone SE has a better chip than the iPod 5 does. So guys, um, this is the speed test for both iPod 5 and iPhone SE. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I've done a video for the iPod 4, or uh, iPod 4 and, and I mean iPhone 4 and iPod 5. And so now I'm doing the iPod 5 um, versus the iPhone SE speed test. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be wrapping this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to fuck those likes, subscribe buttons, and I'll see you later. Peace.